guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we're going to talk about the products that came inside the March Sephora play and then we're also going to preview the products that are in the April Sephora play so let's get started with the March bag and I'll let you guys know my thoughts my opinions on these products and whether or not I feel like the subscription is worth it if you're not familiar with Sephora play it is a $10 a month subscription service and you sign up through it at sephora.com so if you go into the Sephora website you're you should be able to find the Sephora play um, subscription service so the first item I want to talk about is the verb ghost oil it says it's a smoothing moringa blend with weight it's a weightless hair oil so this smells pretty good I like this hair oil I think it's actually a pretty good one so if you've never tried a hair oil before you know or you if you've never tried one before you may not know that you don't need a whole lot of hair oil you just need a little bit of that and then you're gonna take it from the nape of your neck down to the bottom of your hair so that way there it just kind of smooths it out and basically you're gonna focus most of it on the ends of your hair so I think this is a pretty good oil I would consider purchasing a full size of this I haven't tried too many products from the company verb let me know if you have I've tried a lot more products from like the brand uh, Living Proof. Living Proof, I've tried a ton of products from that brand, but nothing a whole lot from Verb. So let me know anything that you've tried from that brand. The next product is the, this is the Josie Moran. This is the Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. So I really did like this. I know some people were complaining that they didn't like it or that they got theirs and it was kind of dried up. Mine wasn't dried up and it smells okay. I don't think it's like anything that smells terrific or anything. But I don't want my skincare to smell like very perfumey. So I'd rather for it to smell a little bit like nothing versus smelling very perfumey because perfume on your skin is actually not good for your skin. So for me, I'm glad that it's not real perfumed. I think it's pretty hydrating. I wouldn't say it's the best hydrating thing that I've ever tried, but I think it's pretty hydrating. I don't feel a whole lot of the argan oil in it because that's what I typically know. That's what Josie Moran is known for is her argan oil. And I don't feel a whole lot of it in there. So I wouldn't say that it's got a boatload of that in there so if you're concerned if you maybe if you have oily skin I don't think it has a ton of that in there so I think it is a good product but I don't think it's going to be something that's going to be exceptional for someone who has dry skin like I do the next product I have is the glam glow glow starter this is a mega illuminating Mo illuminating moisturizer and this is in the shade new glow this is actually pretty cool I love this product I think it's really really nice I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here so you can see it this actually, when it comes out, it looks a little bit, I've got some marks on my hand here. Let's go ahead and get them off first. Okay, so let's do this again. So when you put it out, it looks like nude, like it says. It's like a nude color. But then when you rub it in, it gives your skin such a beautiful glow to it. And the smell, oh my gosh. The smell to this smells absolutely amazing. It smells like orange creamsicles. I love orange creamsicles. It makes me think of those push pops when you were a kid. Those, the ones that was like the Flintstones on it or something like that. I love this. It smells absolutely amazing. So if you like the scent of like orange creamsicle, you would like this. It's very, it's not super illuminating, but I feel like it gives your skin just enough illumination that it makes you look healthy and looks, makes you look like you have plenty of hydration in your skin. So I am enjoying it. That's for sure. I would love to purchase a full size. The next product I have is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. So I already have this. I have it in like a bigger size. And this is in the shade Opal. This is another product that I feel like these two are very similar. I feel like they do almost the same exact thing. So I'm not exactly sure why. I got two products that do almost the same exact thing in my bag. However, I love both of them. So... I'm not complaining. I feel like this is more moisturizing where this one's more illuminating. So I feel like the Glam Glow gives you a little bit more moisture where the Becca just gives you some illumination. So if you need that illumination, I would look for Becca. If you need the moisturization and illumination, look for the Glam Glow. So that's my opinion on those two. And then the last two products is I have the Urban Decay and Big Bang. So this is the little lipstick in Big Bang. I wore this in a couple of videos and you guys really liked it. And guess what? I love it too. It's got a little bit of pink sparkle to it. It's got a little bit of, I think it's like a purple, sh like a blue shift in there because of the pink sparkles. I love the way this looks on. It makes your, your lips look nice and full because it's got that little bit of sparkles. It gives your skin, like your lips, that little bit of a uh, depth. So it makes your, your lips look a little bit fuller and a little bit more voluptuous. I love this lipstick. I would love to purchase a full size, but I think this is my second one of the small ones that I have now. So technically, I probably don't need to purchase a full size. If you got two small ones, I think it's going to last me a while. So good with that. The next thing is the Altier Cologne, and this is in Clementine. Clementine, California. So this smells really, really good. If you like the more fruity scents, the more like oranges and 
like nectarines and things like that. You would definitely love this. I've been really loving the Altier. I think it's Altier is how you pronounce it. I've been loving most of their perfumes that I've tried because I feel like they're a little bit more just natural smelling. They're a little bit like fruits and not vegetables. I was going to say vegetables, but they smell mostly like fruits, like the oranges and things like that. So love the way this smells. I definitely would consider purchasing a full size because I am a big fruit lover. My friend here on YouTube, Liv, she got me stuck on the, oh my gosh, who is it? I think it's the body shop. They have one, it's called Clementine or something like that. So there's a body spray and oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. Love that one. I've gone through two or three bottles of that already. So I love anything orange. So that was everything in the March bag. So for me, I would say I definitely think that bag was definitely worth $10. So I think it was a great bag. The next bag we have now is the April bag. So the April bag looks like this. It's got a little character that reminds me of the Wendy's commercial. <laughs> Is it just me or does she look like the Wendy's girl for some reason? I just think she does. It says the best things in life are me. So that's very positive. So the first thing in this bag here is something by Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Water Drenched Hy Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. Hydration for up to 72 hours. So I'm excited to try that out because you guys know I do have super dry skin. But I can tell already this is not very full at all. It's like right to there. So there's not a whole lot of product in here. So maybe one or two uses of that is all I'm going to get out of it. And let me give you some information on that product here. So let's see. Here's our product information because when they send you the play bag, they do send you a little product sheet that's going to tell you everything that comes in your bag and a little bit of information about it. It says you can rely on the Silky Thirsty Quenching, quenching Moisturizer to provide the deep hydration your skin needs. This inv innovative ingredients here, hyaluronic acid and ceramicides, 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 I'm not even sure, uh, attract moisture and lock it in. Incorporate this into your nighttime routine and find your skin noticeably softer come morning. So I'm excited to try that out. I'll try it out tonight actually, so I'll see how good it works for me. And then the next product is something about Kate Somerville. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I've tried this before and I absolutely love this. So I'm excited to have another one. This is something, I think it smells a little bit like, it reminds me, if it's the same one I'm thinking, let me look and see if it's green. I have to check if it's the green one, then it's the one I'm thinking of. I can't get the little seal off. Yeah, it's green. So it's green. It's the one that smells, reminds me of black licorice for some reason. The scent smells, reminds me of black licorice or some sort of licorice. It reminds me of some sort of like more minty, not minty, but like a cloves. That's what it is. It reminds me of cloves. Love the way this smells. So let's see what it says about that. This says the natural fruit enzymes are the magic behind the super effective skin polishing exfoliator, which will soon become your new favorite at home facial treatment for brighter, smoother skin. Like you just walked out of a spa. So I have to agree with them. I love this exfoliating cream. So I need to purchase a full size. I've never purchased a full size. I've only used samples that I've ever gotten. So I need to just go ahead and bite the bullet and purchase a full size. I'm not even sure it's biting the bullet. I don't even know how much it is. So it may not even be that expensive or it may be more than I think it is. The next product is something by Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Crayon and it's in the shade M10, which I'm thinking is probably just a black, but I could be wrong. Yep, we got a typical black little pencil here. I'm not going to complain though. As you guys know, we all go through these little pencils and it's great to have a little one like this because that's perfect for travel. So let's see what it says about it. It says, whether you're going for a dramatic smoky eye or a subtle flick, the subtle flick, this easy to use eyeliner will be a welcome addition to your beauty stockpile. Plus, when we say budge proof, we mean it. You won't find this eyeliner under your eyes or at the, at the end of the night. So it's supposed to be budge proof. So let's go ahead and do a little test while we're finishing up this video here. Let's do a little, we'll do a swatch and then we'll see how budge proof it is before the video is over. So we got a couple more items in here. The next product is a perfume. This is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I just tried this recently in my sample Sundays. I love this perfume and I think it smells very, very good. So if you've ever tried this perfume, I highly recommend it. I mean, if you've never tried this perfume, I highly recommend it. I think it smells very, very nice. It's got some nice notes to it too. So I think it might have the notes on here. Um, no, it says, let's say the vintage edge of the violet. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. And then the next product I have in here is something that I do not like. So I'm probably not even going to use this. I'm going to pass this along. This is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. It burns my eyes for some reason. I think I have super sensitive eyes, so I can't use this product. Something about it doesn't work. And then plus it's got a lot of oil to it. And I don't mind the oil. The oil is fine. 
but if you are someone who do, does not like oil it does have a lot of oil you can probably see it in the bottle where it's kind of separated there's two different colors there it's got a lot of oil in it so for me this is not something I enjoy I'd rather use a bomb I like the bombs to clean my eye makeup off with this just doesn't work for me because it burns a little bit and it's just no the next and last product is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Why do they always give us this primer? I mean, I don't understand this. Smashbox has a ton of other primers that they could actually give us, but they always seem to give us this exact one. Try giving us something else. I do not like this foundation primer, so I'm going to pass that along. I hate to complain about it, but I just it doesn't work that great for me, so passing that along. So let me go back and read a couple of bit of information about the products we were talking about here. So the Sephora waterproof makeup remover it says not only does this gentle formula re reliably reliably remove the most persistent makeup but it also strengthens lashes with flavonoids and olive wood extracts while soothing the comb soothing with coneflower extract it's so much more than your average makeup remover wait a minute i didn't know it grew your lashes okay so i may have to try that out again darn it and then the Smashbox Primer, it says, the legendary makeup primer is the backstage favorite in the fashion world. It blurs imperfection and it helps makeup stay, last all day, meaning less touch-ups. Use this after your moisturizer and set the stage for seamless makeup application and flawless complexion. I don't like it. And then the last thing was the perfume. Well, where's the perfume at? Here's the Marc Jacobs perfume. It says, Marc Jacobs is the American fashion designer of the founder behind beloved fashion label. His brand is based in New York and always closes New York Fashion Week with a highly anticipated but highly unexpected runway show. So pretty much nothing about the perfume but all about Marc Jacobs, which is fine. But I do love this perfume, so I'm okay with that. So that is everything that was in my March bag. So a review of those products and then everything that is coming inside of my April bag. So next month what I'll do is I'll review the products that came inside the April bag, everything I'm going to use anyway. I'll review those products and let you guys know whether or not they work for me and whether or not I feel like the subscription is still worth $10. And then we'll open up the, what is the April bag? We're, I mean, no, May bag. We'll open up the May bag and then we'll preview that one. So let me know, do you get this subscription service too and do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Let me know what you think of it. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.